There, uh, I'm Madison Parker with Equipment Door. I am coming to you today to talk to you a little bit about some of the courses that I provide. Uh, Equipment Door has many courses. In this case, we're going to talk about bow making and bow hunting and primitive living and uh, those types of topics. In this case, I wanted to share with you a typical Osage bow that if you come to my course, I can teach you how to build this bow. Now, this bow, not quite finished. It's uh, it's all but tillered. It's a little stiff on one limb, and I think it's this limb. Yeah, this limb is stiff, but um, this is backed with uh, buffalo sinew, and it's an Osage self bow, okay? But it is back, so it's called a back bow, but, but I call it a self bow because that's the terminology most bowyers make. So uh, I have all the equipment, all the technology, and all the knowledge to share with you how to make a bow from scratch, from the, that starting to you know, cut a tree down to splitting the tree off, taking the stave from that split, and then uh, going through the whole process of actually making a bow. And this is uh, an example of that technology. But I wanted to uh, share with you this particular bow. This is one of my newest pieces that I'm working on. I, I'm actually waiting for another year. I, I backed this bow with sinew one year ago, uh, approximately a year ago now. I've got one more year to wait before I even bother stringing it that would make this bow capable of being handed down to my great-great-grandchildren and still being able to be shot, okay? Typically, uh, cell bows don't last more than a couple generations. This one right here would last several, many generations because I wait so long before I actually brace the bow uh, after I've applied the sinew. And that's another topic. It's a little bit involved, and I'm not going to go there, but if you're interested in these topics and you're interested in this type of subject, you want to learn how to hunt with a primitive bow, maybe you're a compound shooter and you want to go to the next level. Maybe you're, maybe you're interested in the challenge and the compound bows are, are so high technology by today's standards, it makes hunting easy. And quite frankly, uh, I find that you know hunting in those technology with that technology presents less challenge and it's not as exciting. So uh, there's nothing quite like making a weapon and then going out, you know, you by yourself making the weapon and then going out and taking wild game with it, whether it be a rabbit, a raccoon, a squirrel, or even a deer or a hog. But uh, this is one of the examples of, of one of the bows I teach. And I wanted to show you real quick a roughed out bow that I happen to be working on right now. And it's a long ways from finishing, you can see. I don't even have it, the uh, tip tapered yet. Got a lot of work to do yet on this, but it's uh, it's roughed out. The handle and the risers are roughed out. I've got actually hole you can actually see all the way through. <laughs> you can pan real close, you can see that hole. So I'll leave that hole there, and I'll pull this down to where it's uh, razor thin, and uh, it'll be shooting like a dream here in another few months after I get to it. But uh, this technology and others like this technology are available at Equip to Endure. You can find this particular uh, type of technology and skill. You want to learn how to build a boat? Come see me. Call me up. Email me. Send me a message. Let me know what you want to do. And I'd love to work with you and share, uh, share some of the experience I've had. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared.